Hey guys, welcome to another interview uh, with a, a very special person, Tirth. Uh, he's currently pursuing his master's in data science uh, from USC. And today we are going to talk to him about his experiences, his learnings and some tricks and tricks about pursuing masters in USC. Okay. So before we start, uh, before I start asking and uh, sharing questions, uh, why don't you go ahead and maybe share a little bit about yourself. Sure. Hi, Nitin and Lex. It's a great pleasure meeting you. And uh, I'm Tirith Patel. And like I pursued my uh, undergrads in the computer engineering from uh, Gujarat back in India. And uh, after a few couple of internship in the field of data science and machine learning, I thought of joining and expanding my knowledge further in the data science field. So like I applied for the few of the universities uh, in the USA, like in the specialization of computer science, uh, machine learning and AI. And I got into the data science specialization at USC and uh, which is one of the best scores and uh, it has a great learning and research experience along with it. So I joined in the spring 2021 and, and right now I'm in my third semester. And apart from like uh, academic stuff in the USC, like I'm working, I had work as a research assistant uh, in the one of the uh, top uh, research lab in the United States. So that is Information Sciences Institute as a machine learning research assistant, as well as the AI divisions. So uh, currently, uh, if I say like currently I'm working as a teaching assistant in the core courses of the data science that is uh, data mining and right now like uh, i work in for i work under the professor way mentioned in like formulating the course curriculum and like uh, grading the assignments and helping the students in the office hours to solve their doubts so that's a quick uh, background information well that is amazing so guys as you can see he is involved in each aspect of uh, the academic like the academic aspect or the curricular and the extracurricular uh, aspect as well so i'm very excited uh, to learn from your experiences. Uh, let's kick it off. Let's um, get started. So the first question which I generally ask uh, uh, everyone who I uh, talk to is how has been your experience so far of pursuing masters in USC? And if you could give top three best things which you loved about USC, uh, that would be great. That's a great question. Uh, if I if would like to say about the academic serves like the uh, I, like I got an opportunity to implement all these skills and the knowledge I had in my uh, I pursued in my undergrads to the uh, project work that I currently pursue in the uh, course and curriculum of the USC. So uh, the USC has a diverse and the uh, wide course curriculum so that the student get let get to learn about the uh, job requirements. How are the how are the requirements of the any companies and what are the uh, the requirements that we need to in inculcate in a course and the project work so that we can easily get into the uh, project work when we start getting into the internships right so uh, apart from the academics the uh, usc is well known for the uh, research work so uh, we had like uh, being in a data science master graduate program i had an opportunity to work as a research assistant in under the professors which are well known in the technical aspects of the uh, machine learning and the data science and uh, students get to get the opportunity to work as a part-time uh, research assistant under the live projects uh, under their guidance. So that's a great experience to uh, work along with the academic aspects. So uh, talking about the non-academic stuff, like USC is known for like uh, holding a wide varieties of the uh, like parties and events and the uh, clubs and there are like many organizations and the clubs active in the USC, which keeps the student like engaged around the years. So like there's a there's a happening school. I would like to say like to put it in a nutshell, the top three base things that I would like to say about USC is the uh, great academic experiences, uh, research experiences, and a happening student life. Uh, if you would want to expect uh, being an international student, so this is the top three uh, things and. Uh, Apart from this, like I'm also uh, serving as a uh, director of the publicity and creativity in the Association of Indian Students, where we like spread the cultural values of the Indians, India and the societies to the other other society than the culture so that we can uh, get to know about each other and we engage with the other cultural values. So that's a great thing about the Association of Indian Students. So overall experience being in a USC is a great. That is awesome. That is awesome, um, uh, Tirth. Um, and definitely please share the link of your organization with me. Uh, 
Sure. Um, maybe we can put it in the comment section below. And if someone who is watching right now, if they uh, are, they have finalized USC, they can definitely be part of your organization or uh, leverage the events that you organize. Uh, right uh, now, moving on to the next question, and which is again one of the biggest concerns which people have, is uh, how much money in total I'm going to invest in pursuing masters from USC. So, if you could split your answer in two parts, one is the total uh, tuition fees and the academic expenses, and then second part is the total living expenses. Uh, that would really help. Yeah. Uh, so like uh, generally speaking about the 32 credits program, like uh, the computer science uh, is basically the general general computer science course is a 28 credit program. And uh, whereas the data science is a 32 units program. So uh, the fee structure and the tuition fee structure at the USC is based on the per credit. So it is about a $2,200 per credit. So if I if I want to total some, some of the all the tuition fees for the master or the graduate program, uh, it is about like seventy six thousand dollars per uh, for whole uh, graduate two studies, years. yeah, mm -hmm. for the two years, including the other like uh, compulsory uh, terms that are included, such as the student fees and the other uh, like fees that are we need to include it in there. Right. So apart from the uh, like tuition fees, we have the uh, living expenses that we want to uh, consider when we come to California, which is one of the expensive state in the United States. So uh, talking about generally speaking, if we if you want to rate a two B two B apartment or three B or we are we are sharing among the five to six students together, it will cost around uh, ranging from six hundred dollars to nine hundred dollars, depending on our lifestyle. So if you want to share a okay. private room, if you want to uh, like to uh, share with the couple of the students, then it will go from six hundred to seven hundred. And if you want to rent, Rate, uh, rent a private room, then it will cost around $900 to $1,000 uh, around the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the other utilities expenses, uh, it would range like including the wa like water, bees, uh, water bill, gas bills, and the electricity. It would, uh, average uh, utility bill would be around $250 to $300. Got it. Got it. So on an average, if someone is, uh, someone wants to, you know, plan their finances, it would be around eight hundred to thousand dollars per month uh, for a person, uh, uh, you know, uh, for a living expense. So, which comes around twenty four thousand uh, dollars. So, in general, if I add both the tuition fees and uh, the uh, living mm -hmm. expenses, it comes around hundred uh, k. Yeah, for two years. Got yeah. it. Got it. That's quite a high. Uh, <laughs> uh, but. Uh, now thinking about how to reduce this, right? So are there, uh, how are the on-campus job opportunities uh, in USC? Uh, do, do generally people get on-campus jobs? If at all, there are any tricks, what are those? Uh, so that people can at least take care of their living expenses. So this $24,000 is taken care. Uh, okay. So if I, if, if I would say it, it would be, it would be the wrong anything that any student, uh, you, you won't find any student which doesn't have the on-campus job at USC. So this is one of the great benefit of studying in the USC that every student will find either a non-technical or the field-related job in the USC. Uh, whether I would I would I would say that uh, for the technical fields there are uh, that wide variety of the on-campus jobs such as research assistantships like uh, teaching assistants, uh, the course producer graders. And the uh, those are the technical fields and the field related uh, jobs that are present in the on campus. Uh, apart from that, the non technical stuffs there are the departments such as facility management and the office of international student services. So you get the non technical uh, job which have the minimum pay of like fifteen dollar per hour, and it would range to thirty thirty three dollar per hour for the research assistantship. So the students are like uh, all the students are like covering all those living expenses by working as an on-campus part-time student. So that, uh, that that's a great benefit, like working in a USC campus. So 
I would say like the any upcoming student or the new coming student would definitely find an on campus job if we have a great con uh, connection with the seniors or the other department or other department or the professor they would definitely find the RA or the non technical jobs in a way that would help to like uh, save the cost of the living expenses. So yeah, got it, got it. And if you uh, let's say uh, if you have to give like a top two tricks. Uh, or if someone does these things, they would definitely get an on-campus job. So what will be those uh, two or three uh, tips? Yeah, that's a great, uh, great question. And like, I would explain it with my example, how I got into research assistantship in the first semester of the USC. So sure. uh, as soon as I joined USC, like I, I, I had a knowledge about the Information Sciences Institute, that is the research labs and the all the research professors are from the like uh, well-known background and they have like like wide variety of research works. So what I did is like I connected with them on the LinkedIn and I checked their profile and I like I sent them an email whose research interest like aligns with my interests. So like I formulated an email and uh, research interest, including my research interest and my uh, few internship background so that I can uh, get to know about their uh, where they are like where the research interest where the research works are focusing more on so which in which aligns with my interest so i connected with their professor and share my resume and i had a few calls of interview and uh, they give us a few a few tasks to perform a model to run on the on their current uh, type of the data sets they have so mm -hmm. the task and like compare with the students and the students with the uh, highest amount of the accuracy or like uh, the more precise work get the opportunity to work under there as an RA. So talking about TA and all, uh, you need to be, you need to have a course taken in the previous semester if you want to be a TA or CP. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is depending uh, on the two factors. Like if you are scoring well or A grade on, in the previous semester and uh, uh, whether you have a nice research work in that particular kind of a semester. So uh, there you, you have to contact your professors so that they can have the uh, your resume and the knowledge about your experience in the past so that they can hire you as a TA or CP. And talking about the non-tech or the other department jobs, uh, the great tip, you know, like tips to get into the uh, touch with the, those department for the new on campus job is to connect with the senior students because like mm -hmm. uh, they have the uh, they have the knowledge about their department vacancies so like if we connect with their like they can give us a referral to work as an uh, passport verification assistant or the uh, technical support team so this is a kind of a tip that uh, that is we need in the all the domains of the on campus job in the any of the universities so that we can connect with the seniors and get referrals for them got it got it those are some amazing tips uh, uh, uh thank you so much for sharing those uh, mm -hmm. now shifting gears a little bit to the living part so uh, what are the those top uh, not top but what are those common two or three communities where generally students live uh, do they live close to the university or if they are living a little bit far then how do they commute to the university yeah so uh, the major majority of the students like opt for the student housing like university student housing so they are like pretty off campus like near the uh, near one or two miles from the university and uh, uh, there are certain bus services and the uh, transit services that are available for the students at the free of cost so that they can commute to the university uh, at a, a in a daily basis and the most like popular communities i would say is the uh, like there are certain private apartments such as like city park or the lorenzo so they can have a great uh, like living exp experience there because that is kind of a community where all the students live together like Asians and the Indians, uh, Americans and all. So they have a great uh, societies bounded together, which gives a, a great living experience. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, uh, thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, now moving on uh, to the second part of the, generally one of the other aspect which people uh, are, uh, people want to know is the curriculum. Now, uh, since you are uh, from a data science uh, 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 background, right, or that is the uh, master's that you are pursuing, uh, how is the curriculum of data science at USC? Uh, does it really prepare you for the industry? And if you have to give like three to four courses, which are must 
take, which you would recommend that, okay, definitely take, take these three or four courses and you'll be set for job. Uh, if you can share about that. So like, I would say that, uh, the course and curriculum of the USC in, in the, in the domain of computer science or the data science are wide and diverse. And like all of the courses are such that they, that they meet the requirements of the industries, how they, uh, how the, they require the industry require the new upcoming, uh, interns or the employees to learn and they have the pre prerequisite to have. So if I talk about the, uh, three main courses that, uh, the student must opt in the, from the background of the computer science or data science is the, uh, one of the core course from the data science is, uh, data mining. Uh, and I would recommend to take it under the professor Wei Min Shen, which has the uh, wide variety of the project work, like based on the recommendation system and the, uh, all the, how we can manage and mine the large amount of data. So that's a must take course for the data science student. Uh, apart from this, if you are from the computer science background, uh, one of the most uh, popular course under the CS department is the web technology under Professor Marco Papa. So okay. which, which has the wide variety of the project was ranging from the front end to uh, application development and the uh, game development also. So, and the third I would suggest is to take the analysis of algorithm, which will help us to create, uh, which will help us to like clear all the rounds from the lead uh, code, like, you know, the, uh, the OA assignments that we have right. before the interview process. So the analysis of algorithm is must to like have the knowledge about those algorithms, the dynamic programming, so that we can uh, have, have get a help to solve those questions easily in the live coding round also. So a few of the courses are like wide, uh, have, has a wide variety of the domain and the capstone big, uh, based projects so that we can get to know how the things work in the, uh, back in the industries, which can help us to get uh, more interview calls and clear the interviews at any ease. So that's the three got courses it. I would suggest to students. Got it, got it. That is great because uh, these three courses now will really help if someone is planning to come here for fall now they can start looking into these courses uh, and you know once they finalize they can start to book the courses because those courses also run out right uh, because everyone is trying to get those courses you need uh, to register for them as soon as possible you get a de clearance and you need to register from for those three courses as soon as possible yeah 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 uh, now moving on uh, to the next part which is uh, internship and full time search so uh, what has been your observation about uh, your seniors that did everyone got jobs if uh, everyone and uh, where, which are the companies that they're getting jobs in, right? Are they staying locally in LA or in San Diego or some of them are moving to Bay Area maybe, uh, San Francisco, San Jose part uh, and same for internships. So uh, if I talk about my seniors, like uh, which I had an interaction with, like most of the seniors like got uh, into the uh, some MNCs and like uh, mid-scale industries, some of them are joined into startups. Like if they are not able to clear those interviews, interviews of the mid-scale or the top tier industries, they all of the students have either either way got into uh, their uh, interest, interest job. So I would say like uh, there is no any specific locations that, that the students move into uh, after getting the full-time job. But like I would say the majority of the uh, CS department are got hired by the Amazon or Microsoft. So like uh, I can also uh, have, have, have my connections of the students which are joined into Snapchat, Facebooks and like Meta. Mm -hmm. So like uh, they need to move to the Bay Area. Like some of them are moving into Washington. Like uh texas and something so uh and nowadays like as you know that there is an a uh, work from home opportunity options too so that we can like stay nearby the campus or like whether we, we need to move to the another state but like we can pursue our internship or full-time jobs by, by working from the home so that's a great opportunity but like most of the students are getting a uh, majority of the students are getting into into the amazon software development roles so yeah 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 amazon is like tcs these days <laughs> you know, everyone goes to, every, and that's a good thing i'm saying it in a good way yeah. it's a good thing that everyone uh, is able to capture at least one of the fang companies right or mang companies if we have to say it that way now yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, but moving on uh, i want to uh, ask a little bit about your decision making from the perspective of finalizing the admits right yeah. so i'm pretty sure when you came to 
US, you must have got few admits. Like along with USC, you might, I'm not sure whether that was the case, but if that was the case, uh, if you had multiple admits, then if you could share those admits with uh, us, and then how did you make the decision that, okay, USC is the way to go? Sure. Uh, so like basically I applied uh, according to my profile and the experience that I had, like uh, considering the CGPA I had, like, and the GRE score and ILTS, like I like applied to seven of the universities, including like uh, Arizona State University, UTD, uh, USC, North Carolina, NEU, Red Girls. And from that, like I got into three of the universities. So first of uh, first of all, I got into ASU as an uh, software engineer, uh, MS in software engineering. Okay. Uh, apart from them, I got into the uh, UTD uh, as an MS in computer science general. And, and third admit was the USC, which was kind of ambitious to me. And, but I got into the, uh, my specialization course that I had applied for MS in data science. Mm -hmm. So as I said earlier, like that, I had a uh, couple of internship in the field of machine learning before, after my undergraduation in the COVID time. Uh, so I graduated in 2020. So there was a peak of the COVID so that uh, I need to defer my admit from fall to spring 2021 in mm -hmm. the US. So in that period, I utilized my period as in performing an internship in the field of uh, machine, uh, machine learning so that I can get to know about uh, more about the specialization. So expanding my knowledge in the further domain, like I thought of pursuing the masters in the same field. So I was having the admit from the software engineering as well as the computer science, but like I was really fascinated to go into the data science field. So I chose the USC. And the majority of the, the main reason for this USC, choosing USC, uh, USC is the great alumni network. Mm. And the research experience that we get along with the academic. So the USC has a best alumni network, I would say that uh, every, you can find every, any of the seniors working as in a FANG or MANG companies and any of the mid-scale or senior companies so that you can go get the referrals to apply for, right? Mm -hmm. So. The, which helped me to get a lots of interview call being in the data science field. So I would say like USC was a kind of ambitious university for me, but like having the course of the data science as a specialization, I was uh, too much interested to pursue my master's in this field. So I choose the USC. Yeah. That is great. That is great. Now this was uh, really good because uh, this is the same situation a lot of people will be in once they get admit, right? They have to decide. Okay. Uh, so this perspective really helps. Uh, um, well, thank you so much for sharing all these uh, things there. Uh, one last question I have is, uh, let's say if someone has finalized to come now in fall, mm -hmm. what would be your top three recommendations to them uh, to do as soon as they come here? Uh, in the terms of? Uh, in the terms of uh, USC and making the most out of your master's basically. Right. So if, if any newcomers, like if any new student who want to join as a, a master student in the USC, in any of the field, like any of the electrical department or the computer science or the data science department, uh, the first thing I would, uh, ex I would like request them to go through the uh, professors and the course and curriculums to uh, select from, like create a list of the uh, course that you plan to do in the in the upcoming semester so that it can help you to formulate the uh, course and curriculum in such a way that that can help a uh, subsequent uh, course after in the next semester if you are taking a uh, i would say if you are taking a data management in the first semester i would like definitely suggest you to take the data mining in the next semester so that they can it can be linked together if you are learning spark rdd in the data management it will definitely help you to in implement the project work in the data mining course so you need to like formulate a basic course plan be uh, beforehand and uh, which courses you need to take in the upcoming semester so this will help you to like score a great score great grade in the all the semester together so uh, the second advice i would like to say is like uh, before coming to the usc like uh, you go through all those, uh, if you are planning to stay up off campus, you like, you visit all those, uh, like you ask your friends who are staying there. Like uh, if you are finalizing a certain housing, like two or three of the housing so that you need to finalize which housing is the best. This is one of the question I like, I get, get across all of this domain, like in the LinkedIn on the social mm -hmm. medias, like how you did you finalize your housing before coming here. 
So like uh, this is the main uh, requirement that we want uh, to a student to like learn about the society and the environment around this. So whether it is uh, the area is a safe or not. So like you need to look at all those aspects before like finalizing the housing requirements before joining like coming to the USA. So apart from that, uh, you need to like find an on-campus job so that they can help you can help your manage the living expense by your own apart from the tuition fees. So like find and find the on-campus job as soon as possible as soon as you enter the uh, United States or as soon as you join any of the universities. So it's better to find like apply for those as soon as possible because like lots of the students are applying for the open job roles in the uh, any of the non tech or so that so that you need to be ahead of time in formulating all those uh, requirements before joining this. So that's these three. Uh, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tirth, uh, for sharing all these tips, taking out time. You know, I know it must you must be busy. Uh, so thank you so much for taking out time. Um, um, and guys, if you uh, let me know what is your favorite tip from this video in the comment section below. Uh, now I know Tirth, I would definitely would like to give back to you in terms of um, uh, you know highlighting your organization and its work, uh, the right. Indian Student Organization. So for anyone who is watching and who has planned to come to USC, what would you recommend uh, about your organization? Since you are a publicist and a creative director as well, so I wanted to take this opportunity for that. Yeah, so uh, I would say like uh, Association of Indian Student is home away from home. So like if you are an Indian student, like if you want to engage, engage with other students apart from your states, like back from if you are from uh, Gujarat, like if, if you want to like know, get to know about more other states and the cultural values, you definitely have to join the uh, Association of Indian Student. Like there is an every, uh, every semester we send out the uh, membership form to for the students to get into the uh, club of the Association of India students. So where we organize is uh, various events such as like every festivals of the India. Uh, and now apart, like away from the COVID situation, we are celebrating those festivals in person. So which is most happening uh, festivals in the USC. So where the other international students also join uh, our festivals and get to know more about them. So this is a great experience when when we join the Association of India students away from the back of the uh, back of our country. So that's a great experience, and you will feel like a second home here if you uh, come in every meetings and every events that are held by the Association of India students. Well, uh, thank you so much. I know most of the people who are watching would definitely subscribe to your uh, association. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, uh, and again, once more, thank you so much for being part of this video. Thank you, uh, um, and all right. Uh, so guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.